browsing at logging.apache.org Well, the internet is suddenly slowing down. You can find a web page that lists currently available ports for the Log4j project. One of them is Log4net. So if you click that link, you will be taken to a web page where you can download Log4net. Once the download completes, you will get a zip file you can extract and within the folder you get, you can find the bin folder here within CLI, you will find the release folder and the log4net.dll file. This is the DLL you need in order to use the log for net. So um, let's create a simple program that use log for net. Um, as you can see, it currently doesn't recognize the namespace log for net. So I will copy this path and. Here I shall select add reference um, let's let's browse the release folder and select the log for net.dll file. As you can see now the error messages are gone. Basically when using the log for net or log for j, log for php, they are all the same. Uh, we can either configure the the log for net, the logging mechanism using a file, a separated file, or um, use the basic default configuration. So if you want to use the basic configuration you just need uh, to call the configure method this way and don't pass anything to it. Um, basically when you use uh, log4net or log4j, log4php, they are all uh, based on the same idea. You need to get a um, logger uh, object and the common practice is get separated loggers for separated types. Types. So, if, for instance, we want to um, uh, create uh, logging messages related to the class program, then the common practice would be calling log manager dot get logger and pass over the reference for the type object that represents the type program, and the same here when we got, want to get a logger object that um, will be used for creating logging messages related to the class something. So uh, during the execution of your uh, code you will have several uh, loggers and each log message shall be um, created using the relevant most suitable logger object. So once the configuration is completed, we just need to call one of the available methods such as info or debug. It all depends on the type of the message. We want to um, add to the log logs we have. And if we give it a try and execute this code sample, Here we get uh, three um, log messages, and this is the message. Um, you, we can also see from where, from which logger 
the message was um, the message is relevant to so here in this case we see two loggers the program and something also the type of the log message and if we want we can even configure um, uh, this um, open source project to place all logging messages into a file or another um, resource.